don't care how I want it now. I want to be a producer. I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. My heart wants to sing every song. I want nothing else till I die. Do you want to build a snowman? I want to be like you. Hop the ooby doo. And that's what you're going to get, lad. The strongest castle in these eyes. But I don't want any of that. I'd rather... Rather what? I'd rather just sing. Stop that, stop that. You're not going into a song while I'm here. You're watching musical theatre mash. Stephen Schwartz says every successful musical has one. Bob Fosse says every third song is one. And Disney has built an entire kingdom out of them. But what makes an I want song an I want song? Yes, on the surface, it's a song about what somebody wants, but we can do better than that. Two different types of characters sing I Want songs. Characters that are the protagonist and characters that aren't the protagonist. Never mind that that covers literally every character in musical theater, it actually helps classify the two ways people talk about I Want songs. Generally, an I Want song can be sung by anyone and can focus on almost anything, while the I Want song is sung by the protagonist and determines the plot's trajectory. We're gonna focus on that second type. The protagonist I Want song. You can be sure your musical's protagonist will sing an I Want song within the first 15 minutes of the show. In fact, determining who the protagonist is can be kind of a chicken and egg endeavor. Usually the protagonist has the most prominent I Want song near the beginning of the show. This can be very useful. Who is the protagonist in Wicked? Glinda or Elphaba? The wizard at last. Well, Alphaba sings The Wizard and I is the third song in the show. In Chicago, is it Roxy Hart or Velma Kelly? I'm gonna be singing. Roxy. I'd say the self-titled Roxy points to her as the protagonist. Annie wants the sun to come out tomorrow, Pippin wants his corner of the sky, Roger wants to write a song, Finch wants to succeed, and so on and so on. Now, determining who the protagonist is isn't always so cut and dry. Once upon a time. Look at Into the Woods. Here, the I Want song is an I Wish song. And, well... I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. Things get a little murkier. It's not for me, it's for my granny in the woods. Six. Same with a chorus line. God, I hope I get it. I hope I get it. How many people does he need? How many people does he need? I hope I get it. In both of these cases, one of the people involved in this I Want song is the protagonist, but it's not immediately clear which one. I've even seen productions of both pieces where they choose different protagonists. Is Into the Woods a story about a baker and his journey to start a family? Or a story about the baker's wife and her journey to have a child? What are you doing here? You forgot your scarf. Yes. Is a chorus line the story of how Cassie just wants a role in the chorus? Or how Paul copes with the fragility of life as a dancer? You may even run into productions where two different characters have two different I Want songs near the beginning. Take the producers. I wanna be a producer. It's easy to jump to I wanna be a producer as the protagonist's I want song. It's got the word want in it, it's got the name of the show in it, and all signs point to Leo as the protagonist. But the show is called The Producers. It's plural. And just before I wanna be a producer, both Leo and Max sing We Can Do It. We can do it. Another we I Want song about how Max wants to put on a show. With me and you. Can you have more than one protagonist? Well, the ancient Greeks say no. They invented both the art form and the word, and pro in protagonist literally means the first most important. Ancient Greek drama also had the deuteragonist and the tritagonist, the second and third most important characters. Do we really have to follow the dramatic rules of a bunch of dead men in togas? Well, that's not my decision to make. I'm just a video on the internet. But when you put on a show, you're gonna have to decide who your protagonist is. Is it Max or Leo? Roxy or Velma? Finch or Rosemary? The baker or his wife? Or Jack? Or Cinderella? Or heck, even the witch? 
Or consider this. Perhaps the protagonist you've chosen doesn't even have an I Want song. Charlie Bucket doesn't have an I Want song in the Gene Wilder Willy Wonka movie. Unless you count his two lines in I've Got a Golden Ticket. I've got a golden ticket, I've got a golden chance to make my way. Or maybe you just give up on the whole concept. <laughs> so, like, take the music man. <laughs> It's called The Music Man, so you've got a pretty good idea of who the protagonist might be. But what does Harold Hill actually want? Well, he wants to swindle River City like he's swindled every other town before, by selling them a needless boys band and getting out of town. But neither You Got Trouble or 76 Trombones are about what Harold wants. They're sales pitches. I think it'd be tough to call either of them an I Want song. Harold does have two I Want songs in the show, The Sadder But Wiser Girl and Mary and the Librarian, but you'd be hard pressed to call anything Hill does in Act 1 an intentional search for love. Neither quite fits as the titular I Want song of the show. So you throw this kind of analysis out the window. Remember, analysis, literary analysis, is not about finding answers. It's about asking questions. So, what's your favorite protagonist song, I Want Song? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in part two.